You're gonna need bread flour, warm water, food coloring, preferably gel food coloring because it's easier to work with, and also some yeast. And a weigh machine. You're gonna go ahead and get about 900 grams of bread flour and make a goddamn mess like you're some drug crime lord. Beautiful. Exactly what we want. Go ahead and put that in your standing mixer bowl. We're gonna go ahead and create the dough. Put the water in. Grab some salt, forgot to mention that. My bad. You can go ahead and grab about four teaspoons of yeast and put it in. And use a dough hook. Because obviously we're making dough. Look at this little gnome chilling. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and speed it up. Make sure you don't mix the dough fully because you're still gonna need it later on. So yeah, it's still gonna be tacky. And with that weighing machine again, you're gonna go ahead and weigh out parts of the dough. Um, about 230 to 240 grams, um, doesn't have to be exact, so yeah. Starting off with yellow, start off with the, uh, the lighter colors because start with the dark color is going to stain, you're going to make a mistake, it's just going to look weird. Don't make that mistake like I did. And also in the back for the rest of your dough, put a damn towel, because your shit's going to get hard. That's what he said. And you're also, this is a step is optional, but you're also going to fuck up your bowl and your dough hook. Shit looks orange, but I swear it's red. I mean, camera lie. Now it looks red. And then we're gonna go ahead and make orange. Aren't you glad? Just kidding. And then violet. Or purple. I don't know. It's Roy J. Biv, so it's violet, I guess. Whatever. And you're gonna go ahead and let it rest for two hours and let it rise. In that meantime, hang out with your dogs. Or watch Daredevil. TBH, I only love this season because of the Punisher. This was the most wild introduction, or I mean, not even introduction, most wild, or at least introduction to the people for Punisher. And honestly, the season's only good because of the Punisher. Y'all are probably thinking, this bitch, you know what? Fight me. Fight me and convince me otherwise why the Punisher isn't the best thing about the season. Fight me in the comments. Tell me why. Convince me otherwise. Good. Okay, after two hours, this is what they look like. And I ended up not even finishing Daredevil because right now in the background, uh, someone's watching Daredevil and basically spoiled it for me. But it's okay because the only thing I care about is a Daredevil. So I'm probably gonna watch it for his face and nothing else. So, bye, whatever. Hate me, but you hate me. Anyways, you're gonna go ahead and roll out this dough to about, I don't know, 12 by 16, 18. The original recipe didn't say, so I'm just like, I'm just eyeing it, whatever. And with that towel, is a damp towel so your dough doesn't dry out. And also, you're gonna get a little spray bottle and spray some water on each layer so it sticks more. I don't know if you have to do each layer, I just did it because it helps stick more, I guess. Um, we don't have to do it all, whatever. I, it's your experiment, I don't know, do what you wanna do. It's a bagel for crying out loud, it's not even sweet. It's like, it's bread, whatever. <laughs> This blue dough looked like a painting. Honestly, it looked like a beautiful blue. It wasn't even a solid blue. It had like white streaks in it. Dude, food is art. Food is life. Food is peace. And what you're gonna end up with is this. Layers. Roy G. Biv. Follow that chart. Or word. What? I don't know. Put a damn towel on it. Get a boiling pot of water on the side because we're gonna go ahead and boil these for a little bit. I'm cutting up about an inch and a half and rolling it up into a rope essentially and you're rolling in your hand you're gonna grab the end and roll it together on the board just like I did 
that doesn't make sense, go to the original recipe because I don't tend to make sense sometimes. So, and this is what you, sh you should end up with. Essentially what you're gonna do is put the bagels in the boiling water and you're gonna boil each side for about 30 seconds. And then to switch the sides, you're gonna boil them again for 30 seconds. So essentially all together one minute, but they're not gonna boil on one side, both sides. Right, bro? Okay. Stick with me here, stick with me. And you're gonna struggle like a dumbass. And you're probably thinking my camera work is hideous. It's because I was practically burning myself with boiling water while trying to hold the camera and record this for you guys. So yeah. And after that you're going to put it on a cooling rack and just let it cool until your whole batch is done so you can bake it. At 375 for 20 minutes. And this is how they should come out. After minutes or hours of kneading, 